from which they can develop new products. And the spear is also produced many materials from the forest. So we can see that uh, species, various species of plants and animals are constantly discovered in the wild by these biotechnologies, by pharmacy and industry. Thus, these wild species are the building blocks for the betterment of human life. So these uh, species are used for betterment of our life. And if we degrade them, if we destroy them, that it will be a loss for us. It will be an economic loss, it will be a productive loss, it will be a consumative loss for us. So, the preservation of biodiversity, by biodiversity is uh, very much essential for industrial growth, for economic growth, for economic development. A variety of industries, such as ISIK, the pharmaceutical industry, or other industries, we use the forest resources. They obtain their economic products from the forest resources only. Okay. Our next value is our social value. So you see in earlier times you can see that people used to worship nature. People in traditional society they used to worship nature. They used to respect nature. They used to conserve the biodiversity. So conservation of biodiversity is linked to the very social is what linked to their social uh, livelihood pattern. So the part of their like it is conservation of biodiversity. So, this earlier people, they knew that uh, if they conserve biodiversity, then only they can be able to lead a healthy life. And if they uh, destroy uh, biodiversity, then it leads to destruction of their quality of life. So, ecosystem people, they value biodiversity as a part of their livelihood. But um, the consumative and productive value of biodiversity, as I say, uh, as we have already discussed, the consumative and productive value, it is linked to social value. If, if you uh, respect the nature, if you respect the nature, if you work for the conservation of biodiversity, then only you can expect to get something valuable from the nature. Otherwise, if there is no existence of biodiversity, then how will the economy run? How will we get economic food? How we will pay, how we will pay, get growth in the market? So everything is depending on economy and we should uh, give uh, this biodiversity a social respect. So this is about the social value of biodiversity. Our next uh, value is our aesthetic value. So aesthetic value, as I said, knowledge and appreciation of the presence of biodiversity for its own sake is another reason to preserve. So here we must have a knowledge and appreciation of the biodiversity and we should preserve them. For example, if I discuss, as I'm discussing about the aesthetic value, so um, Apart from killing the wildlife for food, it is also important to, uh, you know, this wildlife are also important as a tourist attraction. If you want to develop a tourism in a place, in a country, then you must conserve the biodiversity. So it is, it gives us a pleasurable experience, this is a pleasurable feeling. You just look at the biodiversity, look at the plants and animals, and it gives us a pleasurable state of mind. So biodiversity is is a wonder, isn't it? So you will see that uh, we have seen that this, uh, there are many animals which are symbols of God, like this lion, that elephant, elephant is worshipped as in Kerala, and uh, the Ganesh is there, uh, this elephant is worshipped as Lord Ganesh also. So these are all these are uh, related to our aesthetic value of life. Okay, uh, there are. And this environment begins with appreciation to support on the unfortunate killing of a friend by a hunter. So, in earlier days, as depicted by Barnaby, that the killing of animals was very, was seen as a crime, criminal event, was not at 
all this is a weird event and it was considered very uh, it was considered as a crime in earlier days so such was their life in earlier days they used to expect nature they used to who exist this nature so this was the aesthetic value of um, aesthetic value of biodiversity in earlier times There are also ethical and moral values which I have not included in this point. So ethical and moral values mean uh, the values which are related to biodiversity conservation, which are based on the importance of protecting all forms of life. That is ethics is what ethics is means the uh, what is right, do what is right. That means all forms of life has got the right to live. All the plants and animals they have their own own right to live. If they like us, they also have their own right to be. So we must allow them to. Uh, we must allow them to. Uh, we must allow them to lead, and uh, we must. Uh, we should not take the place of the God and kill them on a, without any particular reason. So this plants and animals always always have an equal right to be that exists on our planet. It is like an inhabited species. We do not know. If life, as we know, exists else, uh, exists elsewhere in the universe, then do we have the right to destroy the life form? No, exactly. We do not have the right to destroy the life form. Our next topic is endangered and endangered species. So let us see what is endangered species. Endangered species means which are likely uh, the plant or animal species which are likely to become extinct in the future. That means. Uh, the species which the uh, which may not be seen uh, after some after some years we, we will not be able to see them because their numbers are becoming very very low. They are at the very very they are very very low in numbers because of the uh, habitat destruction by deforestation and by poaching by hunting because of all the human activities their number has become very much low. Because of habitat destruction, because of the uh, hunting, and because of invasive species. Now, so what example is your Siberian seal, Great Indian Buster? So these are the species which are at the uh, verge of uh, extinction. That means they are very much, uh, they are very much, they are at the verge, uh, they are uh, at the verge of extinction. They may become extinct if we do not accept for their conservation. Next is our endemic species. Endemic species are those species which are restricted to a particular geographic region. So some species of plants or some species of animals are there which are found in a particular region only. So they will not be found anywhere else in the world. So those species are known as your endemic species. Okay, example is our Asiatic lion, which is found in Gujarat. So besides Gujarat, you will not find Asiatic lion anywhere in the world. So it is Asiatic lion is endemic to Gujarat. Next is Nilgiri Tahar. Nilgiri Tahar is found in the in Kerala. So this Nilgiri Tahar is also endemic to Kerala. It is endemic to Western Ghat. So Western Ghat ke thara Nilgiri Tahar ke thara pawa jayega. Not only in India. In the entire world, it is not found. So, Nilgiri Sahar is a endemic species to Western Ghat. Nilgiri Blue Robin is also an endemic species to the Western Ghat. So, this is about endangered and endemic species. So, that's all for today.